Welcome to Going the Extra Mile, a podcast brought to you by New Leaf Training and Development. Each edition is sure to lift your spirit and encourage you in today's working world. Enjoy. Marketing 101. We recently moved homes and now face one of the most important decisions, where to buy our gas. Even though I love the city within those geographic boundaries we still reside, those pesky traffic lights compel us to choose a pump that's closer to home. Marketing 101 taught us back in the day about the five P's. Do you remember those? Price, promotion, product, place, and people. This framework was devised by Edmund McCarthy, a marketing professor at Michigan State University in the 1960s. He categorized all marketing activities into these five main buckets and named it the marketing mix strategy. Does McCarthy's model pass the test of time? Fast forward 60 years or so in a mature marketplace such as the United States, especially in a saturated market like Southern California, I'd suggest the only two true differentiators remain one listed in McCarthy's model, people, and one that isn't, process. The three gas stations that I considered all promoted the price of their product in almost identical ways. One of the gas stations is located in a place on a corner that would save me approximately 87 seconds. Is that enough time to convince me to become a loyal customer? I mean, in Los Angeles County, nearly one and a half minutes can be a game changer. It was the people component mentioned by the man from Michigan that contributed to my decision. You see, at the first gas station, the clerk didn't even look up from his phone to acknowledge our transaction. At the second station, I asked the clerk a question. He just blankly stared at me, and I could almost see the imprint on his forehead that read, I don't care. It was at the third gas station that the clerk welcomed me, looked me in the eyes and thanked me for my business. As I stepped out the sliding doors, he genuinely seemed to mean those four words we often hear with a lack of sincerity. Have a nice day. When McCarthy first formulated the marketing mix of the five Ps, technology was in its infancy compared to how we know it today. Sticking with the theme of alliteration, I'd suggest the sixth P now is process. Technology can be an enabler of efficient and effective processes that can build customer loyalty, especially through apps, Captain Obvious here, but an app is short for application, a type of software that can be installed and run on a computer, tablet or smartphone, which performs a specific function directly for an end user. Everything in our brand new home seems to be app driven, the thermostat, the washer, the dryer, the oven, the door lock, the toilet, etc. all have apps. Okay, okay, maybe not the loo. So for the first time, I was motivated to consider the customer loyalty apps available at the gas stations I was evaluating. The first station was the easiest. I didn't even have a loyalty program. And when I mentioned the word app to the clerk, he looked at me as if I was from Planet Zog. Now I know I have a funny accent, but I think holding up my cell phone and slowly saying those three universally understood letters, A, P, P, would have been more than sufficient. The second gas station had an app, but I encountered a username and password loop that rather frustratingly prevented me from accessing my account. I just got stuck in a loop. Now I actually emailed the help section of the website and the automated system thanked me for my email and asked me to explain the issue that I'd already explained. After failing on a fourth attempt for resolution and with no real person to speak to on that retro device called a telephone, I decided to delete the app and drive on. Now you could argue I was already implicitly biased towards the third gas station, perhaps due to the sincerity of the people, which seemed to be the spirit within all the staff and not just one member. 
And their loyalty app not only worked, but beautifully so. It anticipated my needs at the pump, rewarded me for buying their product, and even promoted how I could earn and redeem rewards. I think this is going to be a great relationship. In summary, it was the people and the process at the third gas station brand that won me over. Although, as I glance across the street at that station placed 87 seconds closer to home, the competition might still be on. I hope you found that short story useful, and if you did, feel free to rate, review, and share this podcast. We'll be back next week with another episode, and we also invite you to check out our other weekly podcast, Take 5, an inspiring interview with a leader worth listening to. Bye for now.